If you're someone that would say, man, I am tired of the current circumstances, well, there's good news. There's a better way. If you're someone that has wished to change your life or the quality of your life and you can't really figure out how to do so, then there's good news. There is a better way. In fact, there is a formula to living and experiencing a higher quality of life. And I'm going to show you what that is today by going through the core four mentalities. What's going on, my people? Welcome back to another week here on the mentality of success. Um, it's going to be an exciting day today. We're going to be talking about the core mentalities, the core four mentalities that make for a higher quality of life. That's one of my favorite subjects because I believe there's many of us, or let me say it this way. I don't think you could find anyone who would say they don't want their life to be at a higher level or at a high quality. In fact, I think there are a lot of people around our world right now who are looking for anything that would turn their life around to a higher quality. And today I'm going to give you at the very least something that you can use to assess you know, the quality of your life in four particular areas. Because I believe there are four core mentalities that determine the quality of our lives. And I've lived it. I've experienced it. I've experienced what my life was like when these four areas were at an unhealthy place. And I've experienced what my life is like with these four areas, these four core mentalities at a healthy uh, space. And it's a tremendously different experience. And I want you to have that same experience. So here's why this is important. The core four mentalities, uh, I like to think of them like buildings. All right. So imagine this. You come into the world as a little baby, a little cute little baby. Even if they didn't think you were cute, I'm going to say you were a cute little baby, right? You come into this world and your, your mind is like a blank canvas in many ways, specifically when it comes to your mentality. I want you to think of like, in your mind, it's just a, a flat, fresh, new land of dirt, fresh dirt, ready for structures to be built on them. And in all of our minds, there are four core structures that are built. Now, the quality of these structures differs from person to person. But the four structures are in all of our minds, all of our mentalities. And the quality of those structures will determine the quality of your life. So what are those four structures? Uh, what, what, what are these core uh, mentalities? And I'm, I'm referring to them as structures because we're going we're gonna to keep going with this idea of uh, buildings because uh, I want to draw a picture here even though my handwriting and all that I'm going to still draw a, a picture here of, of some some buildings right so let's say we have the first structure then we have the second one uh, then we have the third and then we have the fourth okay and I want it to look kind of like a city that's why I'm drawing it this way the, the size of the buildings don't really matter as much I'm gonna put some windows on these bad boys so, you, so they can kind of look like buildings. Oh gosh, that was not my intent. Okay, so <laughs> this one has one window, all right? It's, it's one, one window at, at the bottom floor. So there's four core mentalities. Now, what are the four core mentalities? The first one is faith. The second one is success. That's why I wrote the book, The Mentality of Success. I wanted people to have a strong understanding of how to build a healthy uh, mentality of success because that's a core mentality in our minds. The next one is one of my favorite, uh, wealth. That's a, that's a core mentality. Your mentality around wealth will determine the quality of your life. And then the, the next one, the last one is leadership. The mentality of a leader is uh, extremely important because once you get to this point, that's where influence lives, right? So these four, these make up the four core mentalities of life. These are the four core mentalities of life. And these four core mentalities, they equal the quality, right? I'm going to put an arrow up or down, the quality of your life. So important. So important to know that. Faith, success, wealth, leadership. Those are the four core mentalities. Those are the four core mentalities that make up our uh, minds. 
and determine the quality of our lives. So when I was growing up, I spent some time in various, you know, living situations. And I don't mean like living with different people. I just mean like I, we grew up, we spent some time in a trailer. We spent some time in my grandmother's house, which is really old. You know, I, I maybe stayed at a cousin or an uncle's house. And But what I will tell you, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to refer to sleeping here. Uh, what I will tell you is the nights that I found it hard to sleep were some of those nights when I was sleeping in the homes that weren't as high quality as others. All right. I'm just going to say it that way. In fact, I remember one particular night, my cousins and I, we were laying, we were trying to fall asleep and, and um, together and we're in the same bed because that's what you do when you don't want to have a lot of money. All the kids got to sleep in the same bed. All right. Not only that, we had to lay like sideways, horizontal um, in the in the bed so we all could fit. But I remember that particular night we were sleeping and I began to hear up up in the uh, ceiling where the attic was. I began to hear like scratching. And I'm thinking, what in the world is that? Like it was a like a lot of just scratching. And I it came to my knowledge, you know, shortly after that all that scratching, that was rats in the ceiling, y'all. <laughs> rats in the ceiling. Now, how many of you, how many of you would be able to sleep knowing that there are rats in the ceiling? The answer is not many of us, right? That doesn't make for a, a high quality uh, of rest. And the same, I'm using that example because I want you to think about the structures in your mind the same way. It's obvious that that home at that particular time because there's a, there's a good part of the story that, that all changed. The house was renovated and updated and all those things were changed. But at that time, that home was in a low quality state, so much so that rodents were, were living there with us. And for some of us, when it comes to the structure, these core four structures in our mind, if we were to take a snapshot or if we were to do an appraisal, or inspection of these buildings in our mind when it comes to faith, success, wealth, and leadership, we would probably find rodents hanging out in those as well. Because for some of us, our mentality of faith, that structure in our mind, that building needs some work. And we can see the correlation of the quality of our faith in our lives because we lack hope, we lack light. Which I'm gonna write that down because that's too major benefits of this core mentality. It leads to light. It leads to hope. And for many of us, if that structure is not in a healthy place, we see the correlation in, our, in the quality of our lives. And so my question to you, if you're watching this, is what is the structure, the core mentality of faith look like in your life? And I'm not talking, it doesn't have to be anything religious. You all, I mean, if you've been watching this long enough, you know where I stand. You know where my faith is. But I like to, you know, open it up for, for, for everyone just to think about this. If you find me someone that has no, has, uh, uh, doesn't have faith, you're showing someone that doesn't have hope in their life either. And you may say, well, well Josh, I don't believe in anything. That's still faith. You have faith that there's nothing to believe in. There's not a human alive that can survive without faith, without hope. The moment those things evaporate from our lives, the moment we begin to exist instead of live. And we talked about that on the last episode. And so this mentality, this core mentality has a tremendous impact on the quality of our life. That's why I tell everybody, I believe life begins at the intersection of hope and faith. That's where it begins. And so it's so important to assess in your life, what do these four core structures look like? What's the quality of these structures in your life? What's the quality? When it, when it comes to your outlook on success, I'm going to give you another one here. This has all to do with uh, what, I, what I, it's like WWH. It has all to do with who am I? What am I here for? How do I best serve? Who am I? What am I here for? How do I best serve? 
You find me someone that knows the answer to those three questions, I will tell you, you have found someone who has a clear definition of success in their lives, and I guarantee you they are experiencing higher levels of quality when it comes to the core structure or mentality of success. That's why in the book we talk about going through the discovery phase and knowing your, your strengths, gifts, talents, and, and who you are and how you best serve. Be, why, am I, why are we doing all this work? Because the more we do the work, the better the building is. Each time you sit down and you start going through, you know, what am I, what am I made of? How do I best serve? You're, you're adding upgrades to that building. You're renovating some of those dead spaces. And, the, and when you do that, you will experience a higher quality of life. And I can tell you from a personal experience, because I started, I, I've gone through at least, I'm on the third one here which is wealth, because once you get there, that's when it becomes fun. Life becomes fun once you start working on that core mentality. But I remember what it was like going through faith and success. Those are some of the hard, hardest uh, uh, constructions during our, our time in life that we have to go through. When we're constructing and, and really perfecting these core mentalities. And the leadership one, these, the first three, these three all feed into the, lead, the leadership one because leadership is just influence. And I, I might as well finish these for you so we can wrap it up. Leadership is about influence and then wealth is about legacy. And that's what my mind and life is right now. I'm, I'm focused on legacy. And so all this to say, I want you today to think about these core structures in your mind. I want you to think, what are the core mentalities looking like for you? What's the health of, of your faith right now? I don't know what you believe in. I always recommend Christ. That is, is, has been fantastic for my life, but you, you choose for yourself. What's that core structure of success look like in your mind? Do you know who you are? Do you know what you're made of? Do you know how you best serve? What's that core structure of wealth? Have you, have you even thought about building a legacy or are you just living from paycheck to paycheck? You want to know what can feed the, the, the core structure of success? You, or, or let me say it this way. You know what can destroy that building in your mind? You know what causes the floor to get to rot? Or for the ceiling on, on your building to start having rodents? You know what, what are some of the habits that, that contribute to that? It's when you, when you can go a year, two, three years without picking up a book, without feeding that currency of knowledge, without getting involved with any networks that serve and add value. You're allowing that core building, that core mentality to begin to rot away. And it won't be long before the quality of your life matches the quality of that core mentality. And I don't want that for you. And I'm sure you don't want that for you. And so... Take this today, assess what are those four buildings, what do they look like in your mind? What, where are they at right now and what progress can you make within the next six months to a year? And I know that's, that's heavy for a lot of people, but that's how we have to think about it, all right? I think I've, I've extended my time a little bit more than I wanted to today, so I'm gonna get on out of here, but I hope this was helpful. I hope um, by now you understand this, this key principle that there's a formula for building a really great life, for building a high quality life. And it has all to do with the four core mentalities. All right. So assess, analyze yours, and let's all grow and experience the life we were created to live. All right. I'll see you right back here. Same time, same place next week, reminding you that success is your destiny. I'll see you on the next one.